This protocol is for generalized back pain. It's irrelevant if it's upper back pain, mid back pain, or low back pain. Our process is consistent. So our first step is to ensure the client has signed a consent to contraindication form. And then we ask the client to identify where their most dominant pain is. After we've identified the most dominant pain at rest, I'm going to ask the client if there's a range of motion that increases that discomfort without doing further injury to the condition. I'm going to ask the client to demonstrate that to me so that we can get a pain scale at rest with range of motion and then the third way is to do a palpation. Uh, so my other consideration is when I'm treating the client I want to make sure that the client is in the most comfortable position for them. Oftentimes a sitting position can aggravate a, a, a back condition. Well I don't want my client sitting for the therapy if it aggravates his pain. So I'd have him lying face down or standing. I don't actually care what position the client is in, I want them comfortable and I don't want what I'm doing to aggravate that condition. So my, my question to my client is, where do you feel your, your discomfort today in your back? Low back, all the way across. Low back, all the way across. On a scale of one to 10 at rest, what is your pain? Five. Five. Is there any position that aggravates that without creating further injury? S sitting or sitting? standing. Okay, so go ahead and stand, from, starting for long periods of time or, in, or, or actually moving through a range of motion? Long periods of time and then certain. How about something like a squat or a bend over? How about bending backwards? Bending backwards is fine. Squatting and bending forward are no. Okay, excellent. All right. Mark's indicated to me that move bending forward is not something he can do because of a bulging disc, so we're not going to take him through that range of motion. I'm going to take his word for it, and I'm going to put him in a comfortable position, which would be lying face down. He does not have to wear goggles because he's face down. His face is away from the, the laser therapy. However, I do. Okay. So the next thing I'm gonna do is he's given me a range of motion at rest. I'm not able to do a range of motion with motion, or excuse me, a pain scale with range of motion, so I'm gonna palpate. I'm gonna ask him with pressure, does this pain increase? No. Okay, how about this side? No. Up above it or below it? It all feels good. It's all the same, so it's, and it's the entire low back area. Is there any that's worse than the other? right side tends to be worse. Okay, and currently right now is it worse? Slightly. Okay, I'm going to identify my settings. Low backs are deep targets, so I'm going to choose my deepest target setting. I'm going to put my hand piece in my non-dominant hand. I'll activate my laser or arm my laser by pushing the red button and making the red button turn green. I'm going to take my hand piece and lay it directly over the area that he's indicated the most discomfort. Press the laser handpiece one time to activate the laser itself and start treating in a two by five, excuse me, two by seven or three by five treatment area. Now this is a much larger area than two by five or three by seven if I were to go all the way across from left to right. So I'm gonna do this a single treatment area first in my two by seven pathway and then when I'm finished with this area, I'll repeat on the other side. This is actually two treatment areas. Remember the most important thing for treating is that your size remains consistent, your pace remains consistent, and your pressure remains consistent. The only thing that I, I, there's a variable on is how deep is my target. So again, low backs are typically very deep targets, so we use our deepest setting for our protocol. Again, we anchor the skin, so that allows us to put pressure without dragging or tugging on the skin. I'll repeat this in two and a half minute increments until my pain is a one or less or I maximize my treatment time of 10 minutes in a single treatment area. I ask my client if he feels, if this therapy is comfortable, is there any discomfort? Okay, it should feel warm like sunshine. It should never feel uncomfortable. On a very rare occasion, a client that has a pinched nerve coming from the back when I apply the laser, will immediately feel a very sharp and sometimes a poking sensation. I've had clients indicate a hot poker, for example. That's a pinched nerve. You immediately discontinue the laser therapy, change your setting to half the strength that you started with, and treat the area with a much lower setting. That will calm that nerve down and allow you to, in about 30 to 60 seconds, uh, increase your, your power setting to the, the setting that you originally started with. So we're two minutes in, still feels good? Okay. If somebody has reduced sensation for any reason or a radiculopathy or a radiating pain, we'll keep that in consideration because those are the times that we see the most often we see that um, 
sharp, sharp or poking sensation. It rarely occurs, but it can occur, so be aware of it. Okay, I've got about 10 seconds left. And I'm gonna reevaluate my location here, both with at rest and with palpation. Okay, where I treated, what is your discomfort where my fingertips are? Zero, zero. Okay, zero on a scale of one to 10. This side? Okay, the, and now I'm gonna repeat on this side because I'm one or less here, so that's, that treatment area is complete, and I'm gonna start treating this area. Another consideration as a therapist is you wanna make sure you're in a comfortable position as well, which means your table should be at the height that's comfortable for you, or you should be sitting on a chair, whatever makes it easiest for you to do the therapy. Again, firm pressure, very slow pace, and treat in two and a half minute increments. On a low back or any condition, you can treat the injury, the site of injury. You can treat over nerve pathways, which in the, in the back oftentimes is the same place. You can treat over the spine itself, and you can treat over lymph nodes. There are really no lymph nodes that truly apply to this area. Um, so we're gonna just treat local area with most discomfort Part of that is treating over the spine already. I've included that in my treatment area. And again, lots of pain or pressure. How's, how does it feel? Is it nice and comfortable? Is there any discomfort? Okay, perfect. Laser therapy is a very positive sensation therapy. Um, it's warm and gentle. It's, it should not be uncomfortable. I often say it feels like sunshine. The mechanisms are reduced inflammation, increased circulation, releasing trigger points and accelerating tissue repair. Okay, I've done another two and a half minutes. What's your pain scale on this side? At rest, at zero, okay. And actually I only went one and a half minutes because it had reduced slightly from here, so I tested a bit early and he's a zero on both sides. We're technically done. Now I'm gonna palpate and see if there's any other areas or if it's still painful with palpation. Is there anything that's discomfort here? We're officially through.